I thought I'd do a comparison today of uh, creating a welcome home sign in Millmage versus creating a welcome home sign in Vetric V Carve. I'm going to create the design in Millmage first. When you open Millmage, of course, you are presented with your material setup wizard. I'm not going to measure my material, I'm just going to make a 200 by 200 millimeter piece here and I'll make it about 19 millimeters thick that's close enough to three quarters inches thick let's change that to 500 to 500 millimeters just to be on the safe side I'm not sure exactly uh, what I'm going to design yet or what material I'm going to put it on so I'm going to make it 500 by 500 millimeters and 19 millimeters thick not knowing what I'm going to design just yet. Going to draw out a rectangle and see where it takes me. I'm just guessing about 14 inches wide and something that looks tall enough to go with that. I guess about 8 inches will do. Or maybe I'll do an oval. Have an oval welcome home sign. I'm just brainstorming right now. Uh, I guess two lines, not one. There you go. I stretch this text out to fill up the oval. And let's go up here and pick us a font. And I'm just going to center this up. And select the text. I'm just going to go ahead and click in the font box. I'm going to use my down arrow key to scroll through the fonts. I like that right there. I was going to start scrolling through some fonts, but I, don't, I think I've. I think I kind of like that one. Let's just skip through here and see what we got. I'm going to separate the letters just a little bit. Get, make sure I got plenty of clearance for that quarter inch bit to go around each letter. Center that back up. Yeah, I'm going with this font. A little fun little font. All right. Um, do I want to just do an offset here? We got a CNC. We need to make these a little more fancy, I guess. Sometimes when I'm uh trying to figure out what to design I'll just go and look for some I'll look for some uh, images on Google images just to see what uh, what can spark the imagination a little bit more I don't think I like that oval too much I like the live edge I could do that with a V bit Let's just scroll through here and see if anything else just pops out at me. Let's see. Going through, going through. I'm not seeing nothing but circles. Ovals. There's some designs. I could do that right there. I could do something like that. Let's do that. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to our rectangle tool. Draw us out a rectangle. I'm going to hold my control key. It's going to give us this little blue dot. And if I drag this to the left, it's going to give us a curved edge. But if I drag that blue dot down, we're going to get this shape. And that's what I think I'm going to go with for this sign. All right, let's get... Well, I've got to click my select tool. Let's get this out of the get this out of the way. <laughs> Drag that over to the side. Let's make this a little bit taller. And let's do an offset.
I just won't eyeball the thickness of that offset. That probably looks pretty good right there. And then let's get our text over there. Grab our text, drag it in, click our inner vector, and center it all up. We could stand to have that text a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to hold my control key and stretch that out a little bit. Let's get rid of these ovals. And let's just start making us some toolpaths. I'm going to select the text, I'm going to select this inner vector. We're going to click new operation. And we're going to do a pocket. I'm going to select our bit, which is a quarter inch. I'm using the hog bit. And this is one spot where milmage is lacking a little bit. I don't know why they got a maximum 50% step over. We can see here in VCarve Pro, if I load my tool library, I have the IDC tool library loaded these are all the suggested speeds feeds step overs and everything from idc and you can see our extended end mill right there that's just a regular end mill a long end mill and it's got a 60 percent step over and of course the tapered knob on those are about 40 percent whatever but when we get down to the badger and the hog, the badger's got a 70% step over, and the hog has an 80% step over. So if we can't go any more than 50% in milmage, that's going to increase our machining time by a good bit. You see, all of these roughing bits are at least 60. So uh, that's something I hope milmage does change. I need more than a 50% step over on these bits. All right, now that we got our sign designed and we have our tool paths set, our pocket is going to be 12.7 millimeters deep. Depth is going to be 6 millimeters per pass. 49.92% step over. Every time I try to move that to 50%, which is maximum, I hit OK. Double click back into it and it's back to 49.92. So I would really like for this to be 80% step over. This is going to cost us some time here in a minute. Feed rate, 33.9 millimeters a second. That's 80 inches a minute. That's what I run on uh, V-Carve. So with all of my settings matched up, we can see the sign cuts out. Oops, come on. There we go. We can see the sign cuts out very. Stop that. The sign cuts out very clean. I just found another bug. There. Why are you flipping over every time I right click? Oh, because it's left click. It's right click in VCarve, it's left click in Milmage. Yeah. Anyway. Left click to drag this around. You can see all the letters are clean. The tools are able to go between all the letters. Everything's carved out very clean. We'll have three passes on our cutout. Two passes on our pocket. That's going to cost us an hour and four minutes. An hour, three minutes, and 58 seconds to carve this out with milmage. Okay, I'm going to save this as an SVG and bring it into VCarve so we have the same project dimensions. I'm just going to export this as an SVG. I'll make this 20 inches by 20 inches by 75 or 0.75 inches. I forgot how big I made the sign. So anyway, we'll just start this new project and I'll bring it uh, vector in. There you are, home SVG. Okay, I can see already that my material wasn't big enough. 
one thing I do like about VCarve, all I gotta do is go over here and in VCarve, all I gotta do is go over here and click on my material dimensions or my job setup and just change that. I don't have to start a whole new project. Let's make this 30 by 20, it should be good enough. And we just made our material bigger without starting a new project. I'm not sure if I can do that in Millimage. I think I got to start a whole new project. All right, let's go ahead and get our toolpath set up. Go ahead and click our inner vector in our text. I'm going to start a pocket. I'm going to use the hog. Keep all the we're gonna keep all the settings the same except for that one thing we want to 80% step over. We're just gonna see what the difference is gonna be. Again, we got a clean carve. Let's go ahead and do a profile cut and drop us some tabs in the same spot that we had them in millage. And there's our project. With all the settings the same except for the step over, this job's going to take 45 minutes in V carve. It's going to take over an hour in millage. I could reduce that time by making a deeper plunge with the hog bit. I know it can, it's rated for three quarter an inch, but I don't run them that hard, especially in uh, cherry or some hardwood. I hope you enjoyed this comparison and stay tuned. I plan on making more videos as newer features or I start working more with millage. And y'all have a good one.